Okay. Today we're reading a book called Chrysanthemum by Chrysanthemum by Kevin Hankings. Okay. Do you know what a chrysanthemum is? It's a kind of flower. You are correct. And it's actually this flower right here. It comes in lots of different colors, but the one they're showing us is like yellow orange. So we're going to read a book about this little mouse girl. What do you think her name is? Margaret. That's a nice guess. But her name is Chrysanthemum. Oh, that would have been a better guess, huh? <laughs> it's okay. And Chrysanthemum loves her name. But one day, something happens that makes her not like her name anymore. Uh-oh. Let's find out. Okay. The day she was born was the happiest day in her parents' lives. She's perfect, said her mother. Absolutely, said her father. And she was. She was absolutely perfect. Look, Look at that mouse baby. So cute. Look at the little blanket. What are those? Chrysanthemums. Awesome. Her name must be everything she is, said her mother. Her name must be absolutely perfect, said her father. And it was Chrysanthemum. Her parents named her Chrysanthemum. I wonder if they got the idea from the baby blanket. Maybe. <laughs> Chrysanthemum grew and grew and grew. And when she was old enough to appreciate it, Chrysanthemum loved her name. She's even saying it right here. I love my name, she says. Nice. She loved the way it sounded when her mother woke her up. She loved the way it sounded when her father called her for dinner. And she loved the way it sounded when she whispered it into herself in the bathroom mirror. Chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum. Look, here she is whispering to herself in the bathroom mirror. Do you whisper to yourself in the bathroom mirror? No, I usually yell. I'm a pirate. We're very loud people. Chrysanthemum loved the way her name looked when it was written with ink on an envelope. And she loved the way it looked when it was written with icing on her birthday cake. And she loved the way it looked when she wrote it herself with her fat orange crayon. Chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum. I like coloring with crayons. <laughs> They're fun. I wonder if her favorite color is orange. I bet so. Doesn't it kind of look like the color of the flower? Yeah, it's a little orange. So is her top of her dress. Mm. Probably her favorite color. Let's find out. Chrysanthemum thought her name was absolutely perfect, and then she started school. On the first day, Chrysanthemum wore her sunniest dress and her brightest smile. She ran all the way. Hooray, said Chrysanthemum. School! Look at her face. Does she look happy to you? She's so happy. She has such a big smile on her face. Marvelous. But... When Mrs. Chud took roll call, everyone giggled upon hearing Chrysanthemum's name. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Let's read all the other kids' names. This is Mrs. Chud. Mm -hmm. This is Don, Eve, Lewis, Al, Les, Kay, Max, Sue, Bill, Pat, Tom, Sam, oh, Sam wrote the S backwards. Ken, Joe, Rita, her R is backwards. Victoria, Chrysanthemum. Mm. Her name doesn't even fit in the box. Nope. What do you notice about the other kids' names? They're all very short. Yes. Maybe three letters, four. Or two in case of Joe. Victoria is the longest name besides Chrysanthemum. But her name still fits in the box. Right. It's so long, said Joe. 
It scarcely fits on your name tag, said Rita, pointing. I'm named after my grandmother, said Victoria. You're named after a flower. I'm named after my grandfather. His name was Captain Clam Clam also. Nice. Chrysanthemum wilted. She did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She thought it was absolutely dreadful. What does wilted mean? Have you ever picked a flower before? Maybe once or twice. So when you pick a flower, it doesn't stay alive because and so then after a few days it kind of goes limp and it or turns to the side and like this exactly so why do you think the author is saying that she wilted can you demonstrate for us again did she really do that not exactly but she looks kind of like she's she wants to shrink right her head is is bent down and her shoulders look hunched right why do you think she's feeling that way because she doesn't like being bullied. Right. They're saying mean things and she wishes that she were not there. Right. So sometimes when people get sad or their feelings hurt, their shoulders slip down and they kind of wilt like a flower. I see. The rest of the day was not much better. During nap time, Victoria raised her hand and informed Mrs. Chud that Chrysanthemum's name was spelled with 13 letters. That's exactly half as many letters as there are in the entire alphabet, Victoria explained. Thank you for sharing that with us, Victoria, said Mrs. Chud. Now put your head down. That's kind of cool, actually. She has half an alphabet of letters in her name. That is really cool. But Victoria wasn't saying it like it was cool. If I had a name like yours, I'd change it, Victoria said, as the students lined up to go home. I wish I could, thought Chrysanthemum miserably. That's not very nice. No, she's real letting this other mouse get to her. Welcome home, said her mother. Welcome home, said her father. School is no place for me, said Chrysanthemum. My name is too long. It scarcely fits on my name tag, and I'm named after a flower. Oh, Pish, said her mother, your name is beautiful and precious and priceless and fascinating and winsome, said her father. It's everything you are, said her mother. Absolutely perfect, said her father. Okay, let's look at these words right here. Precious, priceless, fascinating, and winsome. Mm. It's everything you are. What do you think those words are describing? Well, as a pirate, I know all about precious and priceless and fascinating treasure. <laughs> yeah. I think that the parents are describing Chrysanthemum's character trait. You know what a character trait is? No, please explain. So a character trait is like the way somebody is on the inside in their heart. So not what on the outside, but the inside right here in your heart so when someone is kind or nice that's a character trait right? i see what you look like is not a character trait okay? ah so for example she's precious right she's priceless to them she's fascinating probably means she's a very interesting and unique person winsome means like fun no. Oh. And winsome. Would you say that I am a winsome pirate? <laughs> I think you're a riot. Excellent. That's the right answer. Chrysanthemum felt much better after her favorite dinner, macaroni and cheese with ketchup. Oh, wow. That doesn't sound <laughs> That good. sounds nasty. That's gross. <laughs> kids are weird. I don't know. She's, I don't think all kids do that. Maybe it's because she's a mouse. Yeah, mice tastes are different. And an evening filled with hugs and kisses and Parcheesi, which is a board game. I like board games. They're fun. That night, Chrysanthemum dreamed that her name was Jane. It was an extremely pleasant dream. 
Her old blanket had chrysanthemums. So is she dreaming her name was Jane because this shape is called Jane? I don't know if that shape is called Jane. Oh, okay. I just wondered. Looks like Jane. The next morning, Chrysanthemum wore her most comfortable jumper. She walked to school as slowly as she could. She dragged her feet in the dirt. Chrysanthemum, 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 she wrote. When you write it that big, she could probably only write it three times before she got to school. <laughs> right. She even looks like a flower, said Victoria, as Chrysanthemum entered the playground. Let's pick her, said Rita, pointing. Let's smell her, said Joe. Chrysanthemum wilted. She did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She thought it was absolutely dreadful. Sounds like she's sad again. Yeah, she got they said mean things. I don't know what their problem is with flowers. She looks more like a mouse than a flower to me. Yeah. But flowers don't have legs. They're talking like flowers are bad. Flowers are pretty. That's true. The rest of the day was not much better. During nap time, Victoria raised her hand and said, A chrysanthemum is a flower. It lives in a garden with worms and other dirty things. Thank you for sharing with us, Victoria, said Mrs. Chud. Now put your head down. Do you think the teacher was listening? I think the teacher just wanted them to take naps. Yeah. Nap time is for napping, not talking. Right. I just cannot believe your name, Victoria said as the students lined up to go home. Neither can I, thought Chrysanthemum miserably. She looks sad. Yeah. What's interesting is Victoria has a long name too. Yeah, but not as long as Chrysanthemum, I guess. Mm. Welcome home, said her mother. Welcome home, said her father. School is no place for me, said Chrysanthemum. They said I even look like a flower. They pretended to pick me and smell me. Oh, pish, said her mother. They're just jealous and envious and begrudging and discontented and jaundiced, said her father. Who wouldn't be jealous of a name like yours, said her mother. After all, it's absolutely perfect, said her father. That's a lot of words that I don't know. Right, so envious is like when someone's jealous of somebody or wants something. So like you have a Nintendo Switch and I really want one and now I'm envious of you. I see. Okay, Begrud begrudging, it's kind of like when you hold a grudge against someone a mm, little bit mean. You're targeting a specific person. I like, see. To be mean to them. Discontented means that they're not happy. Mm, they're not happy because they wish they had a cool name like hers. And I don't know what jaundiced means. We'll have to look that one up later. Right? In the dictionary. If we don't know something, we, we look, look it, it up. up in the dictionary. Right. You can also Google it. All right, so he's describing the other students. So the dad's saying that maybe they're jealous, maybe they're not happy with their own name, and maybe they're targeting her for some reason. Maybe Joe is jealous because Joe only got two letters and Chrysanthemum got 13. Right, he wants a long Share some letter. letters with me, come on. <laughs> Chrysanthemum felt a trifle better after her favorite dessert, chocolate cake with buttercream Ooh. frosting. Ooh. That sounds delicious. It does. And another evening filled with hugs and kisses and parcheesi. More board game time. Ooh. That night, Chrysanthemum dreamed that she really was a chrysanthemum. She sprouted leaves and petals. Victoria picked her and plucked the leaves and petals one by one until there was nothing left but a scrawny stem. It was the worst nightmare of Chrysanthemum's life. That sounds scary. Yeah. Chrysanthemum wore her outfit with seven pockets the next morning. She loaded the pockets with her most prized possessions and her good luck charms. Chrysanthemum looked, took the longest route possible to school. She stopped and stared at each and every flower. Chrysanthemum, 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 the flowers seemed to say. Those are some cool colorful pockets. 
Nice. This one has dots, and this one has stripes, and this one is green. She's very creative. Yes. And fascinating, like her dad said. The morning the students were introduced to Mrs. Twinkle, the music teacher. Her voice was like something out of a dream, as was everything else about her. The students were speechless. They thought Mrs. Twinkle was an indescribable wonder. They went out of their way to make a nice impression. I wonder what kind of dream she's a thing out of. Look, she has a face drawn on her stomach. <laughs> she's just a fun music teacher. What an interesting teacher. Mrs. Twinkle led the students in scales, which is a musical term. Then she assigned roles for the class musicale. Victoria was chosen as the dainty fairy queen. Rita was chosen as the spiffy butterfly princess. Joe was chosen as the all-important pixie messenger. And Chrysanthemum was chosen as a daisy. So she got picked to play a flower in the musical. Right. Kids are probably going to laugh at her. Chrysanthemum's a daisy! Chrysanthemum's a daisy! Joe, Rita, and Victoria chanted thinking it was wildly funny. Chrysanthemum wilted. She did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She thought it was absolutely dreadful. I don't understand why Rita is making fun of her. Rita wrote the letters of her name backwards. Right, she still has some learning. Sometimes that happens. It's just a mistake. It's interesting, it's not the whole class. It's just three or four kids that are making fun of her. They'll learn. What's so humorous, said Mrs. Twinkle. Chrysanthemum, was the answer. Her name is so long, said Joe. It scarcely fits on her name tag, said Rita, pointing. I'm named after my grandmother, said Victoria. She's named after a flower. What do you think the teacher's going to do? Well, hopefully, she'll tell them not to be so mean. Mm -hmm. Maybe. We'll see. My name is Long, said Mrs. Twinkle. It is, said Joe. My name would scarcely fit on a name tag, said Mrs. Twinkle. It would, said Rita, pointing. And, said Mrs. Twinkle, I'm named after a flower, too. You are, said Victoria. Yes, said Mrs. Twinkle. My name is Delphinium. Delphinium Twinkle. And if my baby's a girl, I'm considering Chrysanthemum as a name. I think it's absolutely perfect. That's what her dad always says, too. Mm -hmm. What does she mean by if my baby's a girl? She doesn't know if her baby is a boy or a girl right. yet. Because she's pregnant. That's why her belly's so big. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Chrysanthemum could scarcely believe her ears. She blushed. She beamed. She bloomed. Chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum. How is this different from her wil wilting? These are flower words, too. But these are words for when a flower gets bigger and prettier and opens up. Right. She's happy and being filled with confidence. I see. She is smiling again. Mm -hmm. Joe, Rita, and Victoria looked at Chrysanthemum longingly. Call me Marigold, said Joe. I'm Carnation, said Rita, pointing. She loves pointing. My name is Lily of the Valley, said Victoria. They're all giving themselves flower names now. Yeah, because they want to be cool like the cool music teacher. Ah. Mm -hmm. Chrysanthemum did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She knew it. She sure looks happy. She knows her name is perfect. Right? Just like I know my name is perfect. <laughs> the end. Okay, this is an epilogue. An epilogue is kind of a continuation of the story. So let's see what happened after the day Miss Twinkle told them their, her name. 
Overall, the class musicale was a huge success. Chrysanthemum was absolutely perfect as a daisy. Victoria made the only mistake. She completely forgot her lines as the dainty fairy queen. Oops. She must have got nervous. Chrysanthemum thought it was wildly funny, and she giggled throughout the entire dance of the flowers. Eventually, Mrs. Twinkle gave birth to a healthy baby girl, and of course, she named her Chrysanthemum. How about that? The end. The end. I hope you enjoyed that one. Thanks for reading with us. Bye.